What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Alex Reviews. Uh, sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. I know they're lawnmowing outside. And, uh, I'm recording in a different location because I'm pre recording a couple, uh, episodes. So, probably about two. But, uh, Brother Bear. Alright. So, people hate this film with a passion. And I can honestly not understand why. I really like this film. It's got a 38% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 6.8 on IMBD, which is kind of average for IMBD. But for Rotten Tomatoes, a 38%, that's not that good. So what do people hate about this film? Let's find out. Alright, so first off, the originality of this film. Um, it's really the come home movie, you know. Oh man, I got from where I was and now I gotta get back to the village or whatever. So, yeah, it's kind of a typical story for really any story, not just Disney. Two out of five. The predictability of this film, um, this film's fairly predictable. Uh, I think it has a terrible, like, setup, because we watch him kill the mom of Coda, uh, and then that's the big twist, but we already knew that, so... I don't get what the big punch is in this film. Two out of five. Uh, the characters. Here's what people had a problem with. They said that these characters were terrible. Honestly, I thought these characters were great. I especially love Coda. And that's who people had the main problem with. I do get the kids are annoying. Okay. But, I really like kids. And that this might just be a personal thing for me. But I really like kids. So, if I see a kid character... And they're not annoying me to death. Trust me, there's been plenty of times where there's kid characters that annoy me to death. But, if you have a decent kid character, I'm gonna like that character. And I think that Coda did a very good job as a character, and Jeremy Suarez did a very good job as playing Coda. I also like Kenai and Rutten Took, the Canadian Moose, and everything. The characters were... It wasn't completely there, but it was mostly there. I like the cast. 9 out of 10. Uh, the story and the plot. 7 out of 10 here because, like I said, there's no big... There's no really... There's no real twist in this film. It's kind of just the typical let's go... Now, I didn't find a real big problem or plot hole uh, with this film, but, I mean... I don't know, it just didn't do anything to differentiate off the path. So, I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. It didn't do a bad job, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying it didn't do really anything. 7 out of 10. The moral of this film. Moral of the film is, even if you screwed up somebody's life, just, you know, ask for forgiveness and also... Sorry. Uh, and also be who you are. Uh, if... Uh, I think this was really kind of relating to God and how... You know, if God tells you to do something, you should do it. Kind of like the Jonah story. But those are two different morals that you can pick up from this film. There's several in this film that you can pick up from. And those are two that I think are really good ones. So 10 out of 10 for the moral. The animation of this film. The only real problem I had with this animation, I, th I thought the skylight stuff was beautiful. But uh, the only real problem I had with this animation was the original Coda's mom looked terrible. And, I, like, I was terrified of that thing as a kid. I mean, and that's just a minor problem. I think it just had, like, too many chin. It was just too many chins on it. But, uh, 10 out of 10 on the animation. They didn't do a terrible job at all. Uh, Is It or Will It Be Dated? Even though it has a couple pop songs, like, On My Way. Um, and that's catchy. So, I, I just don't see this film being dated. It doesn't really use that kind of lingo. Not from... Not much, if any. Uh, maybe some Canadian lingo, but that's not really dating the movie. Um, and the pop songs, there's only like three of them. If you can stand nine minutes, it doesn't really date the film. It's just like montage scenes. Five out of five. The pacing of the film. I really like the pacing of the film. The flow goes very well with this film. I was never wanting to leave. I didn't see this in theaters, but... I watched it on, like, Disney Channel a lot, or and I think I have the VHS in there, too. And, you know, 
yeah, I mean, I was just zoned in. I really wanted to watch it every time, not just the first time. Five out of five. The impact of the film. This film was really impactful. Like, when Kenai did, even though I knew Kenai already killed Koda's mom, it was really impactful when he did that, and I really felt bad for Koda, because I really like Koda as a character. So, 10 out of 10 there. Does it hit the target audience and beyond? I really think so. Even though the scores don't show it, I'm going to say it does, because I did ask a lot of people, hey, do you like this film? Do you like this film? I got a couple no's and said that they didn't really like it at all, but I got a bunch of yeses. I'm going to give this film a 10 out of 10. People really love it from their childhood. That's what I see about this film. Uh, the relatability of the characters. Uh, 10 out of 10 here. There's so many characters here. They're all lovable, and you can probably re relate to somebody if uh, if you don't really relate to characters. There's probably somebody here you can relate to. Uh, this film is directed... I forgot to mention this. This film was directed by Aaron Blaze and Robert Walker. Uh, these two haven't really directed much, uh, but they have worked on a lot of the animation for... Uh, they worked in the animation department for films like Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, just like 90s and late 80s Disney films. So, good job there, guys. Alright, and then finally, the voice acting. The voice acting done by the main characters, at least. Joaquin Phoenix, Jeremy Suarez, Jason Reyes, Rick Moranis, Dave Thomas, D.B. Sweeney, Joanne Copeland, and Michael Clark Duncan and Harold Gold. Just trying to figure out how many of them I need to put in there as main or minor characters. Um, they all did a fantastic job. They, they did, none of them did anything wrong. Uh, at least I didn't see anything wrong with them. Uh, good job there, guys. I also like how this film did not need like a celebrity voice actor to get Disney more attention and notifications and stuff. So I really like how they didn't use a uh, big, if they did use a celebrity that, I, some D-list celebrity I don't know about, they didn't use a big name. They didn't use a, I don't know who was big in 2003, a Sean Paul or somebody to, you know, get into this film. So overall, this I give this film a 9 out of 10. I think it does a really good job of what it tries to do. And I think it's very, very, I think it's probably the most underrated Disney film that we got here. So, uh... I'm going to review Unfriended next, a really, really good film. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see that, check out the video. I'm about to record it. And uh, I'll see you guys, uh, post more suggestions in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.